Hello everyone, this is Samit Kumar. कैसे हैं आप लोग? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve some questions asked in 2017 in this IIT exam. Okay? So IIT exam, many of the students has requested to solve solve some questions related to IIT exam or TFR and all that. Particularly all undergraduate students. So I'm going to do that. Some some of the interesting question I'm going to solve. Some of them are very easy, but some of them are really interesting that needs concepts, and I'm going to do that so that you'll feel comfortable while doing that. And okay, so let me tell you one thing. Uh, even though I can do, but unless you will not work hard, it's not going to work. That. So you have to promise that you are going to work hard in right direction. Direction really matters, and that you have to do. Okay, so this question particularly asked in IITM 2017, and it's very interesting. And this kind of questions will ask again and again and again. These questions I have picked from real analysis, and it's always important. And this is the topic where always students feel difficulty. Uh, they are feeling very uncomfortable. But trust me, this is this is not that kind of subject. It's very interesting. If you are interested in mathematics, okay. So let's try to understand the question line by line and get the answer. Okay. Even if you are not able to solve, let me tell you right now. Even if you are not able to solve, it's not a crime. It's not a crime. But not knowing is the biggest crime. Okay. So keeping those things in your mind and work hard in right direction. Hmm? Okay. So let's try to come. So question is. Which of the following is that true? And this question asked in IIT Jam 2017. Okay, so question is every sequence that has a convergent subsequence is a Gaussian sequence. So question is very simple. If I give you a sequence, if that sequence has a convergent subsequence, what you can say about the original sequence? Is it Gaussian? That's all. Second, every sequence that has a convergent subsequence is bonded sequence. That means, if I give you a sequence which has a conversion subsequence, does it imply it is bonded? Third, the sequence sin n has conversion subsequence. Look at the sequence sin n, it has a conversion subsequence. That's the question number third. Fourth, this sequence n times cos 1 by n. What is the sequence? n times cos 1 by n. This sequence has convergent subsequence. Okay? So let me do this question in a beautiful way so that you will feel very good, very comfortable and at the end you will get smile. Okay? Okay. So let's try to go. So there are something, some weak hypothesis they have given and they are demanding for strong result. How it can be? You have to give the proof. So question is very simple. So first one is every sequence has a convergence. Subsequence is a causal sequence. How one should think? Even though you know the answer right now, fine. But while you are studying like real answers, those times, how one should think this kind of questions? That's the matter. Okay. So solution, I always start how to think, right? How one should approach? to solve this kind of questions okay so simple is concept is very simple if you have a sequence that has conversion sequence that does it imply it's cosy what is the definition of cosy what is the definition of cosy cosy means difference between any two terms can be made as small as we please in long run that means if you give me any epsilon that means if you give me any epsilon I can make it xn minus xn cut if distance less than epsilon for all n or n greater than equal to capital n that's the definition of cosine you give me epsilon I am able to find capital n which depends only on epsilon such that and of course sequence as well such that xn minus xn cut difference is less than epsilon right so that's what do you have such kind of example so 
let's construct a sequence which has convergence sequence but that sequence is not bonded because every Cauchy sequence is bonded every Cauchy sequence in R is convergent so use that concept so look for unbonded sequence but that has a sequence which is bonded that has a subsequence which converts it okay. look at that so consider this sequence xn look at this xn I can take n when n is even and I can take it uh, 1 when n is odd look at this sequence so sequence is what n equal to 1 is odd when n is even 2 n equal to odd n equal to even as it is 1 6 1 8 right this is your sequence this is your sequence and this has convergent subsequence look at that odd terms so you have a sub subsequence x of 2n plus 1 this value is 1 and this sequence converges to 1 so this sequence has a convergent subsequence how I came to know about this because you have given me the hypothesis you have a sequence which has a convergent subsequence and you are asking about cosiness the sequence is cosy that, that implies it is bonded so look for unbonded sequence I have to put this there will be a lot of examples but I am doing the simplest one where you feel comfortable look at this so it is not about see some of the students were able to give this answer but they don't understand what you mean by cosiness that's really dangerous that's really dangerous so if you don't know it's fine but don't know the wrong things okay so first you should know what do you mean by cosiness so look what is the result for cosiness? What do you know about the results of cosiness? Then you should look for counterexamples. If you think it is good, try to prove it. That's why I have it. Okay? Fine? Comfortable? Good. So first one is wrong. This sequence is not cosy because this sequence is unbonded. There are many ways to do this. This even though there are sequences on a matrix space which are Cauchy but not convergent, there are. So I am just using bondness. Cauchyness implies bondness. So that's all. This is unbonded sequence. Okay. Every sequence that has a convergent subsequence is a bonded sequence. See whatever reasoning I have thought for one, that same question is here in second. Look at the beauty. What the reasoning I have given for the first question, the same reasoning, the same question they have put it in the second level. That's that's why God, if you if you working hard on the right direction, it's my promise. It takes time. It definitely takes time. But you are going to work after some time. Time will give you back. So whatever I told for the first reason, second question is exactly that. Every sequence that has a convergence of sequence is bonded. Look at this. I'll give you the sequence. Okay man, this is my sequence which has a convergence of sequence, but sequence is not bonded. So sequence is not bonded. Same example. Same example you work for it. You have this sequence but it has no convergent. It, it this sequence is not bonded, but it has convergence sequence. So if something is not true, you have to just produce one example. And how one should think about that example? That depends on your practice, the knowledge about mathematics, your dedication towards mathematics. That's it. So say, third number, the sequence sin n has convergence of sequence. Sin n, they have put it in a perfect sequence. Sin. What do you know about sin? First of all, what do you know about sin x? Sin x is a bounded function. It's a uniform continuous function. Right? Now, what is the property sin x? What is sequence relation? There is a one theorem. This says, if you have a bounded sequence in R with usual matter, with usual topology, then that has a convergence of sequence. That's the theorem given by Weistras and that you can prove by compactness in a matrix space if you have a sequence in a compact matrix space that has a convergence of sequence that they call value of that that's called Weistra's theorem so here sin n sin n is what? so sin n if you look at this sin n 
sine and sequence. So this is your A. This is your sequence A, and A is bonded. Hence, this will have a convergence of sequence by Weierstrass theorem. The sine is not convergent. Please mind it. Sine is not convergent, but it has convergence of sequence. Why it is bonded? Fourth number is quite interesting. Quite interesting. It's really good problem. Fourth number they are asking. What you can say about this sequence? This fourth number they are asking. What you can say about this sequence? X is equal to n cos one by n. This has a convergence of sequence. This sequence X n has a convergence of sequence. Look at this. You suppose this sequence is convergent. Look at this sequence y cos one by n. You are saying this sequence has a convergence of sequence. Okay, let's call it x and k. Suppose, मान लेते हैं कि fourth one से ही मान लेते हैं, assume it. Okay, मान लेते हैं कि x and k is convergent. Let this be a convergent subsequence of x. Y n is already convergent. So, and what is the y n element? Y n कहाँ converge कर रहा है? As n tends to infinity. Cos zero, cos zero is one. So y n tending towards one. Now recall the theory. If x and k converges to x, y n k converges to one. Then x and k by y n k, where it converge, x by one. What is x and k by y n k? What is x and k by y n k? X and K by Y and K by definition this is X and K is nothing but N K cos one by N K and Y and K is nothing but what is that cos one by N K right cancel what you are getting N K and this is unbounded sequence you are saying this sequence converges to X are you mad okay no. Because this sequence n is unbounded, this sequence n is unbounded. Each term as you go towards. So how? You, so this thing that means, and you are saying that n k converging to x is contradiction because this is unbounded. This is tending towards infinity. So false. So this sequence has no convergent subsequence, but if it has, if it has, then look for cos one by n. What you got n, and that's divergent. So that's the way to do. There are many ways. Not I'm saying this is the only way, but this is fit according to our undergraduate course. There are many ways to answer these questions. One can do twenty ways, thirty ways. There are many ways to answer. But according to our level, this is pretty good. Okay, I hope you got these kind of ideas. So, this way. so it really doesn't matter to cross this. I'm not here to make the cross and write. I'm here to give you the concepts. So first, learn mathematics. And to learning to us, first think how to think mathematics. That really matters. It's not about IIT exam exam. It's not about NBHM. It's not about TFR. It's about your dedication. That's matter at the end of your exam. Okay. So think about it. If you're not happy, if your guidance is not good, come to me. I'm really going to help you. If all doors are closed, my doors is always open for all my noble students. So if you're noble students, come. I'm really going to help you. Think about like this. Work hard according to that. You are definitely going to boost your score. Okay. So I hope see you soon. And thank you for that watching my videos. Thank you.